Titans Facebook page strikes again. And this time, just by looking at it for a fraction of a second, I might have gone blind. I mean, think about all the legends and the toughest and the baddest of the baddest that have put on the two-tone blue. And then look at these fags. Are you serious? What is the extent that the Titans franchise will go just to get a big bang for a buck? I mean, putting these little shits in the jerseys. Side and I'm watching Thursday Night Football and I see <clears throat> the Texans are playing at the Jaguars to the Titans rivals and I'm thinking Thursday Night Football there I get they schedule these games ahead of time but Thursday Night Football there two of the worst teams not only in the AFC South but in the league and they choose Put Thursday night football there for the Texans and the Jags and Jacksonville, the worst fan base in the NFL. But then I take a step back, humble myself, and say, oh wait, the Texans and the Jaguars have beaten my team this year. Wow, what a confidence killer. As if all of my confidence for my team, the Titans, hasn't already been drained enough. All right, check this out for a second, y'all. It's a dreary day here in the Middle Tennessee area. Very dreary day as it's been a dreary season for the two-tone blue. But uh, it seems like negativity is just everywhere. I mean, negativity is just everywhere. And I understand it when you expected more out of this team, as we really expect a lot out of our teams, even when real analysts who know what the hell they're talking about don't. Don't expect much out of our teams. We still, as fans, it what keeps our blood flowing for that team, it, what keeps our passion and pride thriving for that team. For some, it's more college than NFL. Most, it's more college than NFL. And for some, it's just neutral. You just got a pride for your teams. For me, it's neutral. I've got a lot of pride for Vanderbilt. Got a lot of pride for the Titans. But uh, expecting a lot more out of the Titans this year, Sure, I could piss, I could moan, I could complain, I could cry, I could rat out Munchek. Really, the only time I've ratted, ratted out my Titans team this year was once. I, I don't do it a lot. I don't do it a lot, and that's just because I was just so sick of losing, especially to the Colts. A team that we have had a handful of chances to beat over and over the past few years. So, it was just one of those things where I just... Just snapped, and I just blew up, and it all came out, and y'all saw it in my video, post-game talk about the Colts. You saw it in that little video, whatever it was called, I don't know. Anyway, check the Titans Facebook page. Every now and then you get a little positive comment, but for the most part, it's fire Munchak, fire Munchak, fire Munchak. I get it. I get it. We are pissed off fans. I'm sure some of them have a reasonable right to say fire Munchak because they're probably season ticket holders and purchase a lot of stuff from the Titans and give the Titans money all the time. And they're tired of seeing the product displayed on the field. I understand that, but for the most part, y'all are just like me. Y'all sit at home, y'all watch the NFL and CBS or Fox or whatever channel the Titans are playing on on a certain Sunday, and y'all just get tired of us losing. I get it. You're expressing an opinion. You're expressing an opinion. It's freedom of speech here in the USA. And you're concerned about your team and you're being real. You're being a realist and you're not being a pushover by a franchise you support and all that. And of course, the management office doesn't like seeing that negative stuff because they want us to support them and they want to hear how many real fans are out there for the Titans. And I'm sure the people saying negative comments are real fans. But all those comments jumbling up and all the fans calling for Munchak's head, listen, guys, Munchak has been in the franchise for years. 
since his playing days with the Oilers up until now as the head coach after being a position offensive line coach and whatever he was. If Munchak gets fired and relieved of his duties as a head coach, most likely he's just going to go back to offensive line coaching. Or maybe he'll go to another team. Maybe he'll retire. I'm sure he's got enough cash to sit on at home. Either way, don't call for Munchak's head. Don't call for Munchak's head. Sure, I'll call for his head when I'm pissed off at a play call he makes. But at the end of the day, you've got to support your head coach. This is only his third year, and he's hadn't done a great job. But the first year, he did a decent job, a real good job, compared to this season before. And then last year was just a blow-up in the Titans fans' faces. Just... <clears throat> Kapoof. And then this year it's going downhill and uh we still have a chance at a nine and seven season. That's probably not gonna be enough for a wild card bid, but still. Support your coach while he's here. And the same people that are writing negative comments about Munchek right now are gonna be the same exact people who are gonna be writing negative comments about a head coaching job. I mean, let's be honest, John Gruden is not dying and begging on his knees to come coach the Titans. A big wig, big name like that, and big names are not wanting to save the Titans franchise, especially when you see that half the time LP Field isn't filled at all. It doesn't even look filled on TV. I mean, fan support is everything. I guess you don't want to pay for fan support when our team sucks it up and screws up at the end and loses the game, but still. That's where loyalty, even though some people may see it as stupidity, that's where loyalty comes in. People and coaches are not dying to come to Nashville and fix this franchise and do better with it. So when we fire Munchak, where the hell do you expect us to go? For the people calling for Munchak's head, why don't you tell the management and why don't you tell fans who are supporting the team where the hell you expect us to go? Because your head coach in your mind is probably not that realistic. Now, if we go on a losing skid the rest of the way and we finish 5-11, and 11, which is not unrealistic because we have the Broncos playing up there at Mile High this Sunday and some other tough teams, and then we've got the Jags and the Texans who we've lost to, two teams we should not have lost to. But then if we lose out the rest of the way and we go 5-11, and 11, then that just shows it's not working for Munchak, despite the injuries ridding our team. But every team has injuries ridding them at this point of the season, so no damn excuses at all. <sighs> just what I'm trying to get to here is Titans fans who are calling for Munchak's head. Where the hell do you expect us to go? Who is a hire you would like to see? What the hell? I mean, seriously, we're not the Patriots. We're not owned by the Kraft, Kraft family. We don't have billions in the bank ready to throw it out on a big home run coach. I mean, they've already got their home run coach, Belichick, for crying out loud. We're not exactly the richest franchise, and we're not exactly a team that holds on to good players for long. We see, seems like we release players every two weeks. Just... I don't know, I'm rambling on here, but I support my team, and as long as Munchak stays in Nashville, I'm supporting him. I don't give a damn what you say. I don't give a damn if you call it stupidity for wearing my two-tone blue out in public and supporting our coach and our players, because what's stupidity to you is loyalty to me. But seriously, people calling for Munchak's head, what if this guy ends up turning it around? Y'all are going to be eating some major crow. If Munchak actually does get a few good seasons in here and does some good with the Titans franchise.
but for the people calling for Munchak's head, where the hell do you expect us to go if we do fire him? Somebody answer me that. That's all I gotta say. I'm out. Let's make this quick, easy, and hopefully not painful at all, Titans fans. Yesterday, 51-28, Broncos beat the Titans, big whoop. Uh, most people probably didn't think we were going even going to put 28 up on the board. And damn well didn't think we'd have a great drive right off the bat. Uh, Fitzpatrick looked pretty good, I guess. Um, and uh, Sean Green looked like a badass. Chris Johnson uh, just looked like Chris Johnson, you know. A few flashes here and there, but not much. And uh, fumbling the ball at the end, really putting the thorn in the side to end the game. I mean, the game was already freaking over. You can't come back from that deficit, especially when... Uh, our offense can't get nothing going, and our defense has been out on the field for literally over half the game and just getting decimated by Peyton Manning and his lightning-quick throws because, hell, he's got a brick wall surrounding him. I mean, our D-line couldn't get to Peyton Manning practically all day. I mean, he had all the time in the world, it seemed like, and uh, our line just couldn't hold up, you know. Fitzpatrick was practically running for his life half the time. 51-28. Uh, I can piss, moan, and complain about the refs all I want, but because there were a few iffy calls. Bronco fans, don't don't wave your finger at me. There were a few iffy calls. Y'all know that. So, uh, But it's not like it would have made a difference anyway. Y'all still would have beat us by 10 at least, or 20. Whew. Anyway, peace. Go Titans. Congratulations to the Broncos. So I gotta say, so about that two-tone blue. Oh, uh, and coming up about the Titans, have a little trash talk for you, BVD, and your cards. And uh, I guess I'll just kind of address about the future of the Titans and what seems like this off-season is going to be an off-season of changes for the two-tone blue.